This may not look like much now, but this piece of Veterans Park is currently being transformed into a winter wonderland. The ice skating rink is returning and should be ready for skaters soon. When the temperatures drop and old man winter moves in, many try and avoid the ice. Not here, Billings Parks and Rec is doing the opposite by making it. And it's all hit and miss. It's all dependent on the weather. So if it's, if it's not cold enough, you know, you can't make ice. So we have good cold weather right now, good ice making. Mike Pig is the park superintendent, and he knows a thing or two about making ice. For the past 10 to 15 years, Billings Parks and Rec has transformed this piece of park into a skating rink. But this is a first. Pig says the city is experimenting with a new way of freezing the water, adding a sprinkler system as well as walking with the hose. So the guys, you know, every year they try and perfect how they make the ice. And so this year they came up with this idea to use sprinkler and kind of mist the water out there. And hopefully it forms a layer of ice quicker and then we get to skating sooner. Michael Wehrman has been skating for as long as he can remember. My oldest memory is getting double runner blades for Christmas. He now plays, refs and coaches hockey and believes free winter activities like this are more important than many realize. My opinion is it's so hard to get these kids off the couch off the computers, off the TV, and this is one thing that once they get addicted to the speed and the fun, it's easy to say, let's go skate. But you'll need to wait a bit longer before pulling out your skates. The ice needs to be a couple inches thick before it's good to skate on. So stay tuned to the Parks Department's website. Our goal is always to have ice for uh, when the kids get out of school for Christmas break. So is there something for the families to send the kids off to go ice skating. In Billings, Haley Monaco, MTN News.